You're over four light years from home. Distances so vast, they're mind boggling. Who knows what strange forces lie ahead, what we'll discover when, if, we reach the edge of the universe. Ten light years from Earth, the star Epsilon Aridni. Spectacular rings of dust and ice, and somewhere in there planets forming out of the debris being born before our eyes. Asteroids and comets everywhere. We could almost be looking at our own solar system billions of years ago, with comets delivering the building blocks of life to these young planets. center of all the action, a star smaller than our sun, still in its infancy. Any life in this solar system would be primitive at best. There must be more mature solar systems out here, but finding them is like looking for a needle in a cosmic haystack. Twenty light years from Earth. Star Gliese 581. It's about the same age as our sun. This planet is just the right distance from its sun. Any closer and water would boil away, any further, and it would freeze. Ideal conditions for life to emerge. And if a comet has struck, delivering water and organic materials, then life, complex beings like us, even civilizations like our own, could be down there, right now. They could be tuning into our TV signals, watching shows from 20 years ago. But until we devise a way of communicating over these vast distances, all we can do is speculate. Us and them, living parallel lives, unaware of each other's existence. Unless life has come and gone. That's the problem with comets. They're creators and destroyers, as the dinosaurs found out the hard way. This is the needle in the cosmic haystack the closest we've come to a habitable solar system like our own, but it's a chance encounter. There could be hundreds, millions more solar systems like this out there, or none at all. Some of the atmosphere on this planet Bellerophon is being boiled away by its nearby star.
From Earth, we can't see planets this far out. They're obscured by the brilliance of their neighboring stars. But the planets have a minute gravitational pull on those stars. Measure these tiny movements, and we can prove they exist. That's how we tracked down Bellerophon in the 1990s and hundreds of other distant planets. Sixty-five light years from Earth. Turn on your TV here and you'd pick up Hitler's Berlin Olympics. stars of Algol, known to the ancients as the Demon Star. From Earth it appears to blink as one star passes across the other. Up close it's even stranger. One star is being sucked towards the other. Almost 100 light years from home, faint whispers from one of the first ever radio broadcasts. From here on out, it's as if the Earth never existed. It was like a lifetime since we stood on that beach, looking up at the sky, wondering where and how we fit in. We've learned one thing for sure. The universe is too bizarre, too startling, for us to guess what lies ahead. Deep inside our galaxy, the Milky Way. Pinpricks of light that have inspired a thousand and one tales. The Seven Sisters, the daughters of the ancient Greek god Atlas, transformed into stars to comfort their father as he held the heavens on his shoulders. And this giant, Betelgeuse, the brightest, biggest star we've seen so far, 600 times wider than our sun. But this, it's not a star. like anything we've seen. A ghostly specter more than 1,300 light years from Earth. Orion's dark cloud. Dust and 